If you've ever tried to heat up a large brick of oil-based clay in the oven, uh, you've probably realized that it doesn't work too well. So today I'm going to show you how you can make this heat up a lot more efficiently. Hey, welcome back to Fritz Hoppy on YouTube. Uh, today's a really short video, but uh, let me tell you, if you use this oil-based clay that I talk about quite a lot here on this channel, um, if you do use this stuff, this tip is going to help you out tremendously, trust me. Um, I want you to think about some of my videos I put out this winter, uh, talking about using a slow cooker, there's actually one right in the corner over there, or using an oven to heat up this clay because when you heat up this clay it starts to melt and softens which you're probably going to need that to happen unless you're like sculpting little tiny pieces but if you're sculpting anything that's sort of large you're going to have to heat up this clay because um, when it's at room temperature you know it's like a hard brick and it's very heavy too so I know I recommended not using an oven to heat up the clay. The best way to do it is with some sort of slow cooker. Uh, that's the safest approach, and uh, it's just the best way to heat it up. Um, but it takes a long time. you got to let it sit for like half the day or a few hours. If you use a slow cooker, you can just throw this right in there. It'll heat up no problem. You just let it sit. But if you're using an oven, you put this whole brick of clay in the oven on a pan of course or a tin plate like that one right there um, it's not going to heat up very evenly the edges are going to be soft and melty and the inside still going to be hard um, which is really not a good thing because um, it just creates a lot more work for you and an oven has it kind of like dries out the clay a little bit if you leave it in there too long so if you really want to like you know, melt the whole block. What I figured out is a reoccurring problem is you leave it in there for too long and it starts to like bubble and the oils in the clay start to collect and they do some weird thing where I'd get like these little pieces of, or nuggets of hard oily bits and then kind of scattered throughout the clay and then the clay is not evenly heated, you know, and it just like creates a huge mess. The next thing I know, I'm like smushing all the clay together for like an hour. So anyway, uh, that sounds pretty weird, but you know, what I'm trying to tell you here is there's a really easy way to heat this up in an oven um, that doesn't really create those problems and it heats faster. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be allowing that hot air in the oven to get inside the brick of clay and all I need to do is I need to take my putty knife if you don't have one of these I highly recommend you run right down to the hardware store pick one up you can order one online if you want but they're like I think only a few bucks you know at a hardware store um, but what I do is I take this and I just kind of jam it in the brick of clay and I create these spaces here and what that's going to do is that's going to let the hot air get in there and it's going to heat up each individual chunk here you know so, so it sort of like gets inside this brick and it heats it up a lot faster and it does it more consistently so you're not really um, damaging the integrity of the clay. And that's it. I just take these pieces. You can't even break these up too. You know, you don't need to like pull them apart, but just anything like this works. I put it on my tin plate, goes right in the oven. And be sure to set it at the lowest setting. If it has a warm setting, probably do that. But I usually don't go over 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, if you go over that, this stuff can start to burn and you don't want to cause a fire. But please watch my video on uh, starting fires or 
you know, issues like that with monster clay or any other type of oil-based clay in the oven. This is the J-Mac clay. Uh, it's very similar to monster clay, but it's a little stickier and it's not as expensive. But you've probably seen all of my videos on that. So anyway, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. Hit the like button by clicking that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I hope this tip helps you all out in the studio. But that's it for now. I will see you all next time.